Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again, and what a epic finish at Rockin' Him. It was Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson winning at Rockin' Him. That, I mean, he dominated. 33 out of 39 laps led, but guess what, folks? 46 points with four drivers. The 2006 Winston Cup Championship is just up for grabs, and we have three races to go. You want to talk about the Final Four at Homestead and Roll Life or the Final Four at Phoenix, you know, with this championship BS playoff format. This is real playoff racing right here, man. This is organic championship racing. Four cats, 46 points, three races to go. Oh, my God. So we're going to a Texas Roval, right? This is supposed to be on a Thursday, right? Then later that weekend on a Sunday, you have the Oval, the Samsung Radio Shack 500. So two races... One trip, Fort Worth, 2006. Let's freaking go for it, man. This is going to be insane. The final road course of the season. It's a demolition derby, I might add. Uh, we're going to run the normal primary paint scheme. We'll be out here in the Fort Worth area. Let's go racing. Alrighty, folks. So we qualified. 31st. Yeah, I know. 31st. Well, guess what? It's going to be a demolition derby. Beating and banging. The final wild card race of this season. Anyone can win it. 46 points separate four different drivers with three races to go in the championship. It is on. Look at that beautiful Pepsi car that Gordon's racing. Here we go, folks. The Texas 500K, the Texas Roval is next. MRN is in Texas this week with live coverage of this week's road course race at the Texas Motor Speedway. The fans are thrilled about the race here today, Barney. This is something new for the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. This is a great infield layout, and I'm glad to see them come here. The fans have a right to be excited. It's going to be a great show. Ricky Craven really hasn't qualified too well this year. Yeah, that's true, but it's not where you are at the green flag. It's where you are at the checkered that matters. He just has to stay focused out there and stay out of trouble, which is sometimes easier said than done when you start in the back. Greg Biffle seems to always finish toward the back. Boy, is it tough when you're consistently finishing in the back. You start to lose confidence in your team and, more importantly, yourself. Maybe this race will turn things around for them. Jeff Burton will begin the race in the top five in points. Oh, yeah, and all these guys in the top five are fighting hard week in and week out to gain as many points as possible harder to pick up spots once you're into the top five. Gentlemen, start your engines. Here we go, folks. The Texas Roval. Look, this is a demolition derby race. You go to the, the Daytona road, road course on here, right? That's the premier road course. This is the demolition derby. This is so similar to the Charlotte Here's Roval, the except lineup. you go to the start-finish line, well, backwards. Starting so you're going to go across the front stretch here. You're going to be going the opposite direction. The cars, you know, are built to go left turns. So guess what? The entire car, which is skewed to turn left, is going to have to go the other way. You're going to have to go through what is usually known as three and four as one and two in this race. You go through one and two, the car has got, I mean, you're running fourth gear, the, the RPMs are up, you're just flying around this freaking corner, man. And you're just, you're just trying to get every bit of speed you can get because you're going to come up to a sharp, hard, right, blind, right-hand corner. I'm telling you, this thing is dangerous. You're going to be locking up the tires, you're going to be trying to get your nose underneath the car. It's a sharp turn here. And it's kind of blind going into it. So you're going to make this turn here right here. Yeah. you got that wall on the outside. Not a lot of forgiving room. Then you're going to have a lazy left-hand corner here. You can't cut it. There's a, there's a sand trap there. There's a wall on the outside. The car wants to get really tight right here. A flat, slight little curve here. You know, a little bit of an S there. And then you got this, like, just sweeping. Watkins Glen style carousel and I mean it's so flat you can't get on the throttle you're just going around it and you want to jump on the throttle early but then you can't because you have the outside wall there that that is a sharp angle the car is flat it just wants to turn directly into it you do that you're going to knock all the side force out of it it's going to be key 
to have patience to make that final corner to get the launch off the straightaway, which accordingly leads into what is usually known as three and four, which is going to be one and two this go around. Here we go, folks. The Texas Roval 2006. Look at that beautiful Kurt Busch paint scheme right in front of us. 22 laps of demolition derby race, and here we go. This is incredible, folks. This is the wild card stretch. If, ooh, I'm sorry, 26 car. If someone is going to make a splash in the points, this is the race to do it. And I tell you what, I'm going to use some tactics we used back in 2000 and, what was it? Yeah, 2002 to get around Ryan Newman here. Got to dive in the corner. There's last week's winner, Jimmy Johnson. But guess what? I'm going on the attack. Burton is on the attack here. And, of course, Robbie Gordon. Somewhere in the top five, you know, the road course ringer. Like right here, the car gets so tight, man. You have to be, like, patient with it. Look how loose Johnson just got off the corner. This cat just freaking bled 80% of Rockingham last week. And this dude's freaking slipping and sliding. The RPMs are so high here, man. You gotta watch out for it. And right here, I mean, this is this is the best passing zone in freaking NASCAR. You just get so much speed there. And you gotta just dive bomb it. The car is flat here, you know, the car doesn't want to turn. You got the little S right there. It's not even really an S, kind of a small little, you know, little curve going around there. And you just gotta be very patient on the gas. Once you do, you gotta hook up. You need the draft, you need everything. There's no plates here. No plates. You're getting up through the gears. The car is accelerating because it hasn't hit that peak. Whoa, Nelly. And these cars are designed to turn left, not right. So the aerodynamic, you know, structure of the valence is supposed to turn left. Well, guess what? It's having to go the opposite direction. We find ourselves in 10th place right now. Ooh, sorry, Earnhardt. Don't want to tear you up. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to get on the inside. We're going to get a top 10 update shortly. I think Mark Martin might be out front. Oh, boy. That would be difficult for our championship. You know, I didn't get a chance to look at the points. I should have done that. Um, let's look at it. Yep, it is Mark Martin, Robbie Gordon, Kyle Petty, Jeff Gordon, and Matt Kenseth. You know, we won this race before. It'd be great to win it again, but the, the trick is it's just taking care of your car and being able to use it up at the end. That's how you win this race. You gotta be, you have to use your car up at some point. And no one wins to Oh, contact there. We hit that inside wall, and that was not good. Gotta give Terry a little bit of room down there. Yeah, we hit that inside wall. Luckily, that didn't cause too much damage. We're up to 8th place, though. Car's going to get loose. Gonna walk the hill a little bit. The tires are going to wear here, man. I tell you, the tire wear off turn, off the final turn there, coming to the straightaway, it, it's going to be tough. Because the, that right front, or in this case, really the left front, is not going to hold that car. And you're not going to be able to rotate as accurately and aggressively as you want. But right here is just the best passing zone in freaking NASCAR. Right there, baby. I mean, it, it's it's beating a bang. It's rubbing, it's racing, man. I'm going for it. Well, I want to win this Winston Cup, man. We came from, what, 436 points out leaving the Brickyard with Gordon and Victory Lane, man. And we're 46 points away from a Winston Cup championship. I think we did look at the points. Now that I think of it, I think we did. Either way, we're going for it here. After this, only two races to go. Two one and a half miles. I actually take that back. Give it two mile. <laughs> Raise that auto club. I thought it was Homestead. No, Homestead's already in the box. Huge run down in the corner. Sorry, Kyle Petty. I'm going. I mean, it's it's almost like sliding into a base, right? Like in baseball, how you have to like you have to barely get your toe out, trying to get that base before they tag you. That's how it is entering that turn right there. You have so much speed, and you have to just perfectly balance and tiptoe to the base. And that base is that corner entry, and the, the opponent is obviously the guy trying to tag you. But we somehow find our way to sixth place. The car, we didn't really do much practice in it, so we kind of winged it on the setup, and it looks like it's going pretty good. But the problem is, ooh, Kenseth don't wreck him. Oh, no. That worked, but it didn't want to use up Kenseth. Now our left front's pretty torn up. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, yeah. The left front's tore up. There's a big dent in it. Oh, boy. Good news is, though, we're in fourth place and Mark Martin's out front. I can live with Mark Martin out front. We're ahead of Gordon, but we need points. We need points. I'm like, I might have to stay out a little bit longer 
and just lead one lap when it comes to the pit stops. We're halfway on petrol, meaning you can go 16 laps a run here at the Texas Roval. And oh boy. Oh, sorry, Tony. And one bad thing about that turn there is if you try to dive bomb it without a, what I like to call a reference car. As Tony's going to get underneath this here. If you don't have a car ahead of you, Kenza just, wow, flies on by. You enter that corner without a reference, without, okay, I need to slow down to match this person's speed. You could overshoot that corner by a mile and cream the left end of that car. That left front is critical because if you destroy it, you're gonna have a DNF. Much less, you're gonna you're gonna take away a tool. You know, stock car racing has a tool, and that is called the car itself. It's not like an open wheel or sports car racing where, oh, you gotta you gotta prefer you gotta preserve the the front of the car, the size of the car. No, it's all about beating the banging here at the Texas Rover, man. You gotta you gotta rub fenders, you gotta move cats, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, it, it is the demolition derby race of the season. I like to say the Daytona road course we go to is the premier road course in NASCAR. This is the beaten and banging demolition race of NASCAR. Short tracks are like it, but nothing's like a Roval. I tell you, Rovals are just freaking insane. Oh, boy. See, like right there, we could have probably been a little bit more aggressive, but you just don't have that reference point. And that reference point is huge entering the corner. Oh boy. So we're going to kind of haze through the final corner here. We're coming up to lap 11, which is going to be the, pretty much your halfway lap. Mark Martin's pretty much checked out. But we came from 31st, guys, in practically 10 laps to second place. That's got to be a pretty good race car right there. That's got to be a pretty good race car. Cats are pitting. Is tires going to be worth it? Do you want tires? Do you want to go to... Oh, dang. I think Johnson might have hit the wall there. Oh, boy. And we're wrecked out at the Texas Roval. Oh, boy. Wow. Newman just crashed there. Oh, no. Wow. Shocker at Texas. We're going to finish dead last. Oh, no, that's not good. So, Johnson finishes dead last. How everyone else doing the points? Oh, boy, yep, we're going to lose a lot. So, Gordon finishes 20th, 103 points. Martin, 121. Marlon, 142. R. Humphrey wins the Texas Roval. Wow. I said it, folks. I kind of I, I kind of jinxed myself, got to be honest. Wow. Our day is done. We got to go win the 500 on, on Sunday. We got to go win the Texas 500. We ain't got no choice, man. Wow. That is shocking. So a new winner, our second winner, uh, first time winner this season. We uh, went to Daytona. It was B.C. Vaught. Well, now it's R. Humphrey. Wow. Um... Well, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day out there. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Burton Rex out here at the Roval. Dang it, man. We probably just cost ourselves a championship, but that's stock car racing, baby. Have a great one, folks.